Well, good morning from... Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, it's a bit windy. Uh, this is a bit of a ramble episode because what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to figure out a way of cycling and filming and getting good sound at the same time. And I think you can all hear it's, it's quite blustery, but so um, anyway, that's I'm not going to go into details of the technical stuff <laughs> because I think that's just boring to say yeah, I'm fidgeting with widget one, etc., etc., etc. No. So anyway, it's I'm just uh, cycling along, uh, cycling along. Uh, I said that twice. <laughs> I, I'm afraid I'm losing my head here. I, I'm concentrating on too many things at once and it's just about okay. So I don't want to talk about what we're looking at. I mean, this is the route from, I don't even know that part, but we began uh, near the Ministry of Justice and uh, as you see, moved by uh, Central Station, or the north side of Central Station, but that's not the point. The point is that when you're, what I like about cycling, I think I want to, this is getting very bad. I want to say something about cycling or the joy of cycling. That, um, if, if for example, if I, if I'm on holiday in a place where there are very few bicycles, I wonder what it would be like to cycle because I find that cycling is just this brilliant way of getting around. Of course, you need to be in a place. It helps to be in a flat country. <laughs> I mean, even though people do cycle in the Pyrenees and those kind of places. But here in Amsterdam, it's really nice to cycle. You can choose your speed. Uh, I may have alluded to the fact that there are more and more electric cycles on the park. And I believe they're actually a hazard that um, <laughs> there's something that gets in. I think we like speed and this is not a man thing. It's just people thing because the people who I see speeding on uh, electric cycles tend to be uh, somewhat elderly. So I, I don't know if it's that they have this sort of kamikaze attitude having lived for so long they think yeah I don't care or maybe it's just the joy of being able to go that fast after so many years of you know having to cycle at a reasonable pace so they are they are something to look out for um, you also have the back feet I can't see any at the moment but um, they're also pretty wild but uh, that's usually usually sorry during the school run that's when they get crazy because uh, you, they're too abreast and you can't overtake them and you have to be polite because they're laden with children and stuff like that. So uh, they, the, there's the back feeds thing. Um, cycling, oh yeah, cycling. Uh, of course, cycling helps you talk about cycling. So now I'm, <laughs> I'm rambling on about cycling uh, while cycling. But that's not the point. The point is um, I'm testing stuff, as I said at the beginning. Uh, why am I saying that now? That's because I don't actually have anything to say at the moment other than, oh yeah, nice view. Uh, and stuff like that. So let me see what. Are, oh yeah, there's one one thing about cycling. Once way 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 back when I used to work in Rotterdam, so I had to cycle to a train. I had an accident, and uh, what happened is I didn't have my lights on, and I was late for the train. I went through a red light, and there was this car coming, and I remember seeing the car, and then I remember standing up. I was just standing, and this guy was shouting at me, and shouting at me, and my bicycle was just messed up. And till this day, I cannot figure out what happened. There's just nothing. There's absolutely nothing. So that's my sort of mega cycle adventure. I'm sure um, a lot of tourists who now cycle around the city are also having mega adventures, perhaps not the kind of adv adventure they planned for, but that's the kind of adventure they get because uh, occasionally you see these teams of either yellow bikes or red bikes or blue bikes or black bikes, but you can see they're all sort of numbered and lots of excited people on them and at times their movements I find uh, dangerous because they're sort of wobbling the shoulders are, you see this tension like oh I cycled 20 years ago or 15 years ago and I haven't done it since then and um, coming to a new city to cycle yeah well that gets all freaky so now I think I'm I'm completely out uh, waffled on cycling at least for now so I'm going to let you enjoy the rest of this uh, uh, trip and it also allows me to switch hands um, because <laughs> I've had my hand in the air for a bit. Okay, see you. <laughs> 